This is my book, Sea Wall, made for um, the very first project for MA in Book Art, September 2016. The brief was to make a book based on a place or space, um, considering um, the qualities of that place, and to represent them in a book. Um, so I have a little bit of a fixation at the moment with the seawall at Canberra Sands, so that was the obvious place for me to do my book. And I have been collecting images of concrete from the wall, um, which I find quite beautiful. I'm quite, I'm quite surprised that I find something that I thought was going to be so ugly could be so beautiful, and that the experience of walking along the wall is so pleasurable. So. I've made it very simple. I wanted it to be a long, thin structure, or a long, a long, a long structure anyway, to represent the wall. And opening it out this way, it is just a solid concrete structure made with a photograph taken from the surface of the wall. And I like the colours in it. I like the the wave of blue that runs through it, and I also like the rain what I call the rain patterns that are running downwards, um, which you can imagine stories and landscapes within that. If you turn it over and read it as a book, the idea was to express the feelings that I have on the wall. Um, and it's just the thoughts that I had when I was walking along it the other day. So I wrote down some words about how I was feeling when I walk the walk, breathe the air, feel the breeze, hear the waves, catch the light, follow the clouds, smell the sea, reach for the sky. So I've chosen to use transparent paper to represent the words that relate to the senses and action words, um, just smell and just feeling the, the wind. When I made the book, I made it out of two sheets of A4 paper and the idea was to have a concertina. I got a little bit stuck in the middle. I wasn't sure what was the best way to join the two, two leaves, the two A4 sheets. And then I had a thought that I could create a secret page in the middle. So when you open it out, it's got a little uh, representation of the wall and some waves, um, just to make it a little bit more interesting and add a little surprise as you're going along. Um, I'm not sure whether that works, but I quite like the simplicity of that and the, just the representation of the water coming up against the wall and washing and being being a little bit mobile and fluid. Likewise, I've left these flaps of water loose so that then, because the water is not fixed. And then um, along here, I've got some sky and that also can move a little bit. And then it all folds up and slips back in its case, which is made from tracing paper and um, used a font that whoops, is um, quite simple, not fussy, and no capital letters, because I like to see text without capitals. Um, I think this might be better a little bit lower down, but you can actually move it up and down depending on how you're feeling. So that's my book.